Helen from CETA and I guess you're fam familiar with me by email. And I'm here today with Andrew, C our CETA hey. Managing Director and Jay from CIT Event, who is going to show you the system that we are going to use in the upcoming fair. And before we go to the rehearsal, let me welcome uh, our CETA MD, Andrew Gray, to greeting everyone. Hi everyone, uh, good to see you, uh, if, even if it's virtually. Uh, look, thank you for your uh, participation in this fair. Uh, I think we made the right des decision to defer it from January to 20th of February. Uh, in Thailand, schools have gone back this month and uh, restrictions have eased and the cases for COVID are just restricted to one province and uh, uh, hotspots with um, factories and migrant uh, workers. So uh, overall, Thailand is is managing the COVID uh, quite well, but very cautious with international borders. Um, uh, for the promotions for the fair, to date, we've received registered over 100 families to attend, and we have another 50 families uh, that have indicated uh, interest in the fair, we'll be contacting those ones to screen that they're not uh, just signed up for a fair thinking that it's university. So we want to tar target and screen that we have the right audience on the day. So um, uh, we're very pleased also that we've reached our target of about 50% from international local international school families and about 50% from well-known Thai schools with English language programs. So uh, we're very pleased with the, the quality of what we see so far of the registrations. Um, obviously, uh, its attendance on the day is, is going to be the key part. Um, today, we'll give an overview of how it will work from the, as an exhibitor and then lead into the back end uh, of how your, you can manage uh, the booth with the help of our interpreters and team right behind the whole process. Um, just on timing, um, with just to clarify a little bit, the our interpreters will be available from uh, 12 midday through to 6 p.m., which is 3 a.m. your time, but it starts with speakers first uh, so that um, uh, if... For the time for the booths would be open uh, from uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. But if you come in at at least 1 p.m., which is 6 a.m., um, but in the meantime, from that 3 a.m. onwards or to a little bit later, our interpreters can talk to visitors and say, look, when you would be available and book a time for you later in the day when you're available. So... But if you are available from 6 a.m. onwards, uh, that would be fantastic. But we realise, um, you know, the the, uh, the, the time limits uh, and everything there, uh, so that uh, it would would work out uh, to be available five to six hours on the day. Uh, so just to clarify that, so you're not frightened to think that you have to get up at 3 a.m. Uh, to be available. Um, so from this. Uh, I'll hand over to Jay from a Zip event uh, to explain the platform and also Helen and Pat from our team will just explain some other uh, admin details for the back end and for the smooth uh, administration and follow up. But so I'll hand over to Jay. All right. Hello, everyone. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you all today. So basically, we will divide our um, presentation into three main parts. The first one is we will walk you through what's this uh, different experience for the visitor and what they will be seeing in this virtual event. And the second part will be how to use the administration and backend platform as an exhibitor. And the third part will be to wrap up and summarize and show you the exhibitor manual, which will be sent to you afterwards. All right, so let me share my screen first. Okay, does everybody see my screen? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so basically this is the landing page of the CETA virtual event. 
in which where students and parents, once they have completed the registration and receive a confirmation email, they will have a unique link to join and enter the Zeta virtual event. In which basically in this page, they, the students can be able to see and explore the event information. So they can see like what the event is about, um, the webinar timetable and stuff like that. And they can navigate into many parts of this event from seeing the expedia list, in which is stored alphabetically. But if they want to um, categorize, they can choose the countries they wish to um, see, like this. And more than that, uh, they can see the webinar agenda, like this. So they know the time schedule. And they also have. Oh, uh, sorry for the technical. I'll share my screen again. OK, and we are back. And we also have the online counseling so that students can consult with a CETA team if there is any things they need to know or learn about your uh, institutions. And apart from that, we also have like a tutorials for them to see and learn about how to use the platform. If, there is anyone who interests or, or doesn't know how to use it. Also, for the main part, we we'll have a webinar as well as exhibition hall. So let's get into the exhibition hall. So you see that um, the schools is categorized based on the country. So once the students hover their mouse over the logo, there will be a school name coming up like this. And once they click, for example, I will show you the Cardiff Sixth Form College. Once they attend the booth, they will be able to see many parts of the of your booth from information. So this is the information that you have provided to us. And we put a location, profile, and curriculum offering, as well as contact information. Apart from that, the students can see the video of your institutions. They can see the brochures and handout, which we have uploaded already for you. Here, so they can you know see and explore and download it out. As well as seeing the photo book of the photos that you have sent to us to upload into the system. And apart from that, they can chat, start initiate chat with a school representative in which they can start chatting using on the right hand tab. And if they want to make a video call, they can do so by clicking the video call button in which they can join the room where interpreter is inside. And once your queue is ready, they will send you the link so that students can join the expedia link afterwards. So that's basically for all for the exhibition. And for the webinar, so it's like a live streaming screen, where if there is a live streaming, they can be able to see and view the live streaming from this uh, panel. OK, so that's basically the first part of um, the briefing session today. I'll go over to the next one, which is the Exhibitor Administration uh, website. So we will provide you with a unique username and password for each Exhibitor to log in. And once you have logged in into the system, you will see three main menus, which is Exhibitor Info. So they can edit the booth name, logo, or any description. If there is any misspellings or anything you need to change, you can do so by uh, typing in here and click Save. And as you can see that, once the students click Hello, or once they chat to you, you'll be able to answer the chat message back using this panel. So once you type and students can respond. And last but not least, the brochures. You can edit uh, your brochures or uh, other files by uploading here. So we have uploaded the files you've sent to us already. But if there's any more um, brochures or documents to add, you can do so by adding files to within this menu. And we accept um, JPEG, PNG, or PDF. And the last part would be the manual 
in which we will send this um, exhibitor manual to you along with the username and password to enter the back end. And to summarize, um, there will be three systems uh, according to, to this CEDA events. The first one is the event system that I've shown to you. So as an exhibitor, you can log in to um, edit your info and have a text chat with clients. And if you wish to have a video calling with the students, we provide you with um, IZON link, which is the video calling that we are using right now. And once the students click, they will be able to join and talk with you during uh, the video call. And the last part is the Google Sheet, in which um, I will let uh, CEDA team explain about this part. Yes, for uh, thank you, Jay. For uh, Google Sheet, normally in in the normal fair, we use hard copy of inquiry form. But in this virtual fair, we are going to use Google Sheets to take note of each boot receiver. So this is the example of how we take note. We will like call like a names of student, name of parents, nationality, contact detail, and inquiry details. Also the note for CETA, so we can so we could know that the further step that we need to do. Yep. And, and just, for to the, add, just to add for the Helen, uh, for the note, you can ask your interpreter whether that they can help you take the note or you can do it yourself. So it depends on the situation. Yes, and also I will send you uh, a print file so you can print it out. And if you prefer to do like handwriting, you can feel free to do. and. If you do the handwriting thing, please scan and send back to Sita so we can work on further step. Yep. And for the internal communications on the the actual date, we can use like WhatsApp to communicate with Sita and SIP event if there is any technical problem. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Kirillin. So next. Um, is the login into the Expeditor Administration uh, system. So you can log in using the account we provide. And then, as I mentioned earlier, you can access many parts of the system, like editing info, accessing chat room, and editing or uploading your brochures. For the information, you can edit uh, descriptions and as well as uh, the link of your institutions to the chat. Um, you can see the incoming chats th using the left-hand side, and you can choose to answer which person. Uh, and when you click select, you can answer using the right panel on the right. And you can also send the attached file as well. And for the video calling, is the same one that you are using right now. It's called IZON, in which uh, once the students have clicked the link to join the video call, they will join directly um, and can talk to you using the, this kind of um, video calling. So as an um, exhibitor or as a school, you can share your screen or presentation so that students can learn more about your um, you know, institution or school as well. And this is the ones to edit the brochures. And if you need to enter your um, virtual event, you can do so by, so we will send you with an access code for each institution so that you can log in and see um, how your boot looks like and give it a test. So in which we will send you along with your username and password. Right, so that's basically summarize um, our exhibitor brief um, session today. So if there is any, any um, question or any things you want to add, please feel free to do so. Thank you. Uh, Jay, if you could mention when when the system will be open, so the schools can test test out and experiment on their own before the event. If right. you could advise okay, on that. so um, we will send the all the username and password as well as access codes to you, um, like five days or uh, three, three to five days between, uh, before the event begin. So around next Monday or Tuesday, within Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you, Kunjay. After this, Sita will provide you a manual and username, password, links, and also the Google link, and also the form that 
if anyone prefer to print it out for the interview note. Yep. Is any, does anyone have any questions? Just an observation from me. It does look very professional. I do love the way it's working for visitors as well to reproduce the experience of a exhibitors fair. So um, fingers crossed to be very successful. Thank you for all your work. Thank you. Thank you. And Thank you. just a lead reminder that Sita World Show High School Fair will be held on 20th of February, like from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Bangkok time. And we know that it's too early for UK people. So please be allowed at any arrival time. As Hood Andrew said, mentioned before that we recommend you to be allowed like from um from 6 or 7 a.m. for UK time. That would be fine. Because can, our can we, interview Yes. Can we actually be on at three because I spent last weekend on uh video <laughs> uh with parents from three, so I'm getting quite used to it. I think my body clock. Okay, that's, that's good. That works. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's good. Yeah, that's fine. Tonight, <laughs> I, I do promise it won't be from the night before. I will go to bed very early. Okay. okay. We're, we're available from three, I'm afraid. We're quite sad. I think they just want us to look jet lagged without actually getting on a plane. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so thank you so much for everyone for your participation. And if you have any questions or needs any help, you can email me anytime. Okay. Okay. Just to reiterate, thank you for all your hard work. It looks great. <laughs> Excited. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Okay. Thank you, thank Helen. You bye bye. Thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye.